Hello and welcome to my vlog. So the other day I come to Norton Summit and I got absolutely trashed. So I'm back here for more. I'm at the bottom right now, about to smash it hopefully. But yeah, I was getting overtaken left, right and centre. And I was feeling super unfit. All my mates have gone wine tasting today because I'm in Adelaide, that's what it's renowned for. And I've said, nope, I need to, <laughs> I need to come here and uh, get some exercise in. So let's see how it goes, yeah? For preparation today, I've had uh, pizza for breakfast, which I cooked yesterday. So that was really nice and filled me up. Um, had lots of water. I've got a camel back on me now. Um, I've got some dates in my bags for when I get to the top, so I can just smash them in, because I know I'm gonna be super hungry. And that's about it, really. And I've got my watch on me, so I can be keeping time. And my camera equipment, which is just a pain in the ass. So this is Nick, this is Joshua, and this is Josiah. And they're all subbing me to a uh, sub 28, hopefully. So yeah. see how it goes. When you're suffering at Norton Summit, these are the kind of views you miss, man. They look so beautiful. <laughs> My ass is starting to hurt so much. I'm sweating like fuck. I'm dreaming of, I'm dreaming of Domino's pizza. The struggle level right now is... And I know it's all in my head because I can still talk. It's just in my head. I'm struggling to find motivation, be honest with you. But deep down my brain's like, why the fuck are you doing this? Consciously I want to do this to get fit, but deep down it's a battle. Summit. This is my third time now cycling up. It's still really hard. I think because I've been doing it quite frequently, um, I've had time to recover. I'm eating chocolate chip cookies to give me some energy, and it's 32 degrees today. Um, I struggled again, but I felt like it was a lot quicker um, and a lot easier on the cardio. It's still hurting the legs, you know. Um, I won't be able to tell if it was faster until I upload to Strava, and then I'll compare it to last time. I did today solo. So if you feel like you're gonna faint, don't worry, you've got a saving grace. Um, only 20, to 20 minutes to 30 minutes, you'll get to this water fountain. And across the road, you've got a cafe. God knows what they sell, but I'm sure they'll be able to sort you out with something if you really feel like you're fucked. So that's always good, because you've got something to aim for. And good luck if you're gonna come and try this out. God knows I needed it. I just got bit by something, just there. Things like fuck. You always worry when you're straight in, you get bit. I think it was just a bull around because there's fuck those vents here. Don't you? Time to shower. Woo! Yo guys, how you doing? So let's look at some of my data from uh, Strava. From me going up Norton's, I kind of spent a week of going up Norton's. I think in seven days I went up there five or six times. I've got my heart rate data, which is the scary shit, and then uh, kind of my times. Yeah, if you do know anything about heart rate and exercise, then let me know, because I seem to exceed my maximum heart rate quite a few times. Uh, if you go by the general rule of thumb, it's 20, 220 minus your age, I'm 23. So I should be hitting maybe 197 uh, beats per minute as my max, and I've got data on here that's saying I'm hitting anything up to 206 beats per minute, beats per minute, when I'm going up Norton's. So anyway, have a look at this. So right here is my first time going up Norton's. Now, if I look at my heart rate, this is all in miles per hour, by the way, because I'm British, bruv. Um, look at my fucking, this is obviously going up Norton's here. Look at my heart rate, max 206 beats per minute, and average 176 beats per minute. So, if you know anything about heart rate, you know, let me know if that's dangerous. I don't think my G my Garmin's broken because I've had an Apple Watch, I've had 
a Fitbit and they all kind of read quite high with my heart and I feel like my heart's beating at my fucking chest so yeah this is the second time up Norton's and you can say, see already like I'm feeling fitter, I've done it once, my body knows what to expect so I've got a maximum heart rate of 194 which is more acceptable um, and then 154 beats per minute on average uh, these are quite long rides, obviously Norton's only like 3 miles this is like an 18 mile ride I've done here then the day after Again, 196 beats per minute, average 168, so I'm pushing a bit harder, but my heart's not fucking, you know, it's not on the brink of fucking stopping, basically. Uh, this is the day I did Norton's and Corkscrew. I did Corkscrew by accident. And what I find weird is this day I would have, you know, it should have been the hardest day of my life. But my max heart rate this day was 182 beats per minute, and the average was 154. So I found it like not too straight, stressful. Some people went for a sub 20 up Norton's that day and I just casually rolled up. So I think that's why I didn't really push myself that hard. I was just generally fatigued. And then most recently I went for a PR to beat my 28 minute up Norton Summit. I just wanted to get anything below. I was expecting about 27, so I did. If you look here. Yeah, Norton Summit, 27, 18, so it's my PR. My other times have been 29, 28, 18, 28, 24, 28, 55. This day I got 27, 18. So I was pushing quite hard and this is my heart rate data for that. My heart rate data are 202 beats per minute and on average 167. So as you can see, my heart rate max seems to, my heart rate seems to get to the max quite easily. Um, and go quite fucking high, so I'm not sure what's happening there. If you if you do have any idea, even like a speck of an idea, drop it in the comments and let me know. I hope you've enjoyed my Norton Summit vlog, and I'll see you later. Peace.